live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Veritas Vision 2017. Brought to you by Veritas. Welcome back to Las Vegas, everybody. This is the wrap for Veritas 2017. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. I'm Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman and Stu, two days. We're witnessing the, the evolution, transformation of Veritas. Veritas used to be sort of the gold standard for what wasn't known at the time as software defined, but just software you know, function you know, to deliver storage capabilities, no hardware agenda. And now you're seeing investment under the leadership of new management, uh, some innovation, a cycle that's quite rapid. Uh, it's hard to tell how much of that is really taking shape in the customer base. Uh, it seems like the channel partners are picking up on it. Customers are still sort of trying to figure out you know, how to move beyond sort of their existing legacy situation. It's like uh, Keith Townsend says, the vendor community tends to move at the speed of CIO. <laughs> it's a great quote. Um, but, but overall, I think very good show. Some surprises here in terms of specifically the breadth of the Veritas portfolio, not just a backup company, really focused on data management, focused on information management, which obviously is relevant in the digital economy. Uh, what were your takeaways? Yeah, so, so Dave, the, uh, the big strategy is that, that the 360 data management. And I think one of the things we teased out in here is, you know, first of all, nobody thinks that cloud is simple, right? <laughs> Multi-cloud, where customers are, and when you dig into it, and what Veritas has learned in the last year is that there's a lot of work to be done. Where are there deeper integrations that they need to have? There's different requirements from the different partners here. Uh, you know, see Microsoft, the top level sponsor, uh, you know, uh, Rosinovich up on stage, uh, giving kind of his usual, you know, hybrid cloud with a lot of open source uh, pitch there, but uh, you know, seems a good fit from the, the customers and partners that we talk to here to say Microsoft aligns well. Uh, with what Veritas is doing. Amazon, big player here. Uh, a lot of integrations happening behind the scenes to make sure that Veritas can work there. Uh, and then you, you follow you know, Google, of course, big focus around data. Uh, good to see wh where Veritas is going. We had a nice conversation uh, with, with Google. Google seems very open on, on a lot of these, not as much focus on uh, some of the, you know, the functionality that Veritas has, so it's a good natural fit. And then IBM and Oracle kind of rounding out kind of the big players here. Uh, so, you know, the thing I've come in, I think every show I've gone to this year, Dave, is where do companies that have been around for more than a couple of years fit in this multi-cloud world? And absolutely, that's, you know, that's where the puck's going, as uh, Bill Coleman said, that's where they're betting the company and putting it forward. Um, and you know, you, you wondered coming in, would it be like, ah, oh, yeah, hey, this is a net backup and you know, Veritas Foundation suite uh, with you know, a new coat of paint on it? And no, I mean, they're really, they've, they've brought in a lot of new management team. Sure, there's engineers here with a lot of expertise and experience to build on, to know how to, how to do this, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I was pretty impressed with what I saw this week. Dave. So no hardware agenda is evolving to no cloud agenda. Mm -hmm. That's you know, one of the things we learned here is that, and we had a good discussion um, got a little, little bit awkward at times, but good discussion about why Veritas relative to the other players here. And what the answer we got back, which we had to tease it out a little bit, was essentially the, the, the upstart guys, the rubrics, the cohesities, to a certain extent Zerto, I think they try to put Veeam in that category. We'll come back to Veeam, because it's kind of interesting. Um, maybe not big enough to deliver on that multi-cloud vision. And they're really not even trying. Cohesive, cohesive and Rubric, I, I don't know. They, they, they've, they've added a lot of cloud recently. Actually, Rubric's been yeah. doing it for a while. Cohesity, I, I, definitely seen there. They, they understand that cloud, but I, I think what, you know, maybe I, I'd say they, they don't have to they, win they, in they, that they, to they, they tend to thing. start from an on-premises yes. piece, right. uh, as opposed to you say this Veritas strategy <laughs> is, it doesn't matter. Um, and with many of the players, right, where is their natural gravity? Is it, is it on-premises or is it in the public cloud? And yeah. you know, in Nutanix, they, they partner with Google, they're, they're doing the cloud, but you know, absolutely, most of, their, more money most of their revenue is, right. you know, <laughs> you know, so, is, is selling so the, there. So the so. upstarts, I think, you know, I, I kind of buy the, the, the Veritas argument that there maybe doesn't have the gravitas and the, 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 the heft to attack that multi-cloud. 
other than pick at it and grow and they'll do, they'll do hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue and maybe get to a billion and have a great exit. I, I think that'll happen. So that was that, and then the other guys, the big guys, HPE, Dell EMC, IBM, they certainly have the capabilities to do that. But is it going to be the, the main focus of those companies? HPE, maybe. Um, we'll see, HPE and Veeam are an interesting partnership. You know, my information suggests that, that, that Veeam is, is driving many tens of millions of dollars through Hewlett Packard Enterprise now that the MicroFocus deal has been done and they've got rid of Data Protector. You know, IBM, they're kind of reinvigorating the storage business. Data protection is part of that. Um, Dell EMC is, I think, challenged to invest. Uh, they can't invest in as much as they used to, certainly not in acquisitions. The acquisition pipeline has basically dried up. Oh, I, I mean, right? Dave, Dave, look at, you know, Data Main was a was great acquisition uh, by EMC at the time, now under Dell EMC. Uh, I mean, you're probably closer to it than me. I, you know, I don't hear a strong cloud, uh, you know, message coming out of, you know, that group when we, we talk about backup and the like. Um, you know, Dell, Corporate, of course, they've got Microsoft partnerships, VMware has Amazon partnerships, uh, but it very much is tied to you know, appliances or arrays uh, as, or servers uh, you know, at the main piece. It's not a software message, uh, which is you know, where Veritas Well, but so you look at Dell EMC's acquisitions recently. Um, Isilon, okay, a couple billion, two and a half billion, I think. Data Domain, two and a half billion. Uh, DSSD, a billion, which really hasn't turned into much at this point in time anyway. Extreme I.O., not sure what they paid, but you know, you're hearing ebbs and flows on, on, on that. So, but that, my point is that is how, under Joe Tucci, EMC innovated. They would incrementally add on to their existing platforms. You were there, you saw it. And then they would invest in what Joe Tucci used to call tuck-in acquisitions. And all that was well and good, and they were able to sort of keep, not, not sort of, they were able to keep pace with the industry. That's basically stopped, that, that, that strategy. We've seen cuts, some layoffs, but still a financial you know, windfall, I think, is coming for, for Dell. And VMware is a secret sauce there, so we don't have to dig into that too much. But my point is that services is going to be the linchpin for that company in terms of attacking multi-cloud services and VMware. Yeah. Okay. So now yeah, you come and, and Pivotal, of course, and, too. And Pivotal as well, that's right, great point. Now you come back to, to Veritas, focused on that, on that strategy of, 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 of information management, um, investing, apparently, in R&D, seemingly patient capital with Carlisle. So I like to, you know me, I like to unpack the numbers. From what I can tell, my sources, and you got to do some more digging on this, but when Veritas was uh, acquired by Carlisle, it was about a $2.3 billion company, wouldn't surprise me if on an income statement basis it's actually shrunk. Wouldn't surprise me at all. In fact, Bill Coleman kind of hinted to that. And especially if you start looking at ratable, rateable revenue models, maybe bookings could be up. And, and I've heard numbers as high as 2.6, 2.7 billion, but who knows. I've also heard now that the valuation at the time of the acquisition was seven, seven billion and change. Um, I've heard numbers as high as 14, 15 billion now. Maybe a little inflated, but I think easily over 10. Um, and I think this company has an opportunity to get to 3 billion, get the valuation uh, uh, up to 15, maybe even 20 billion. Big win for the uh, private equity investors. And the key to that, I think, is going to be a, a continuous investment, uh, go to market, that aligns to those new areas that they're talking about, and very importantly, the ecosystem. I want to see this thing start exploding. The, nice, the big highlights here were the cloud guys. What else would you highlight? You know, you walk around the shows, a lot of you know, smaller partners here really would like to see that ecosystem grow. Uh, that's something that we're going to watch. Um, and the audience grow. I think, you know, that we're up, this show is up from last year. Uh, next year, I believe, uh, in Las Vegas again, moving to the Cosmopolitan. A little bit better venue, bigger venue. You know, we'll see if they can get up to the, where the big boys go uh, over time, but overall I'd say pretty good second 
year for Veritas Vision. Yeah, uh, it, it, you know, Dave, when you look at the different areas, uh, you know, Veritas has a full suite of software to find storage. Uh, the, the analogy I've used all the time, storage industry is a knife fight in a dark alley. Uh, so you've got some big players out there uh, that all have their software-defined storage messaging out there. Of course, Veritas would say they all have the hardware agenda. There's some truth to that, but Veritas also has to partner with a bunch of these players to get there. So, you know, where do they get the reach? How does the channel help them? Uh, punch above their weight. I mean, the, the, the difference is they're a two and a half, you know, $2.6 billion you know, run rate company, uh, you know, re revenue company um, that is private. So you know, they, they, they're trusted uh, because they have history, they're, they're not a small startup. Uh, they, you know, can this innovation uh, and all the new team members come in? Um, and, and definitely the, the cloud piece is pretty interesting, Dave. Uh, you know, we see, uh, we'll be back at reInvent with theCUBE, and you know, Veritas will have a presence there. Uh, Amazon, huge ecosystem. Where do they play? Where do they show up? Uh, you know, data, you know, we, we, we've said so many times on here, it, it becomes repetitive. You know, you know, data's the new oil, and customers need to take advantage of them. Can Veritas' message get them at the table and in a conversation where uh, so much it's about infrastructure and I love the message here at this show, it's not you know, infrastructure technology, it's information technology and we want to put a highlight on that. So you know, like the message, like where it's going, hear, hear the customers, but can they get at the table uh, when you know, there's so many different, you know, there's the startups, there's the big players, everybody pulling at uh, you know, where the customers are. Um, and the GDPR was an interesting angle because uh, it was the, the crispest, the, you know, the most crisp conversation I've heard on GDPR. I know you've been talking about it, uh, you know, at least the last six months on certain, some CUBE interviews. I've done a number of interviews, uh, but it really crystallized for me this week at the show. I'm glad you mentioned that because I've done a couple of shows where GDPR has come up and I was like, okay, yeah, we get it, it's coming. It's nasty. How are you going to help me again? And I think Veritas did a really good job this week of saying, look, we are here to help. We're going to start with discovery and they sort of laid out the journey and, and they, I think they made a good case for their, their portfolio aligning well with solving that problem. Uh, so this could be a nice little, little kicker there. One of the things I wanted to sort of riff on a little bit was the TAM and the data protection space. You know, it reminds me when, when ServiceNow went public, uh, uh, I know it was a story about a Gartner analyst who was very negative on it, saying help desk is a dead business. And then Frank Slootman did a masterful job of expanding the TAM, explaining that TAM, guiding the company to a, a massive you know, opportunity. And I see a similar dynamic here. On the one hand, I say, wow, there's a lot of companies in this data protection space, even though it's exploding. A lot of VC money coming in. You're seeing new entrants like Datrium now gets in the space, even though they're not just backup. They're not. That's not their primary. But I mean, you certainly saw SimpliVity was was kind of their specialty. Uh, but guys like Datos IO and some of these new guys coming in, like we talked about, Rubrik, etc. There's a lot of players here. Is the market big enough to support those? Part of me says, eh, I don't know. But then I think back to that ServiceNow example. I think the TAM is going to explode because it's not about backup, and it's not even just about data protection. It is about information management. I think Veritas got that right. And so what I like about their chances is they're big, they get a big install base, and I think their vision is right, and they don't have that cloud agenda. Uh, they're pure software company, even though they do sell some appliances sometimes. Uh, and they got what seemingly is good management. I think I'd like to see them attract even more management as they grow and as they start executing this, and as I say, the ecosystem has got to grow. Yeah, so um, Dave, IT has to deal with information governance. That's the defense they need to play. There's going to be money thrown at that. Uh, some of the conversation we had this week, IT operations becomes you know, one of those tailwinds that should lift companies like Veritas uh, to be able to have further discussion and, and grow uh, th those budgets uh, to, to be able to be you know, a much more important piece. All right, good, Stu. Um, thank you. Good working with you again. It's been a long few weeks here, but uh, we'll, we're, we're, we're at it again next week. The Cube is at uh, Big Data NYC, which is uh, done in conjunction with Strata in New York City. Uh, we've got a big party uh, on Wednesday night. Actually, we got a presentation. Peter Burris, Neil Radin, uh, Jim Kabilis, and we got a panel talking about software eating the edge. That's on Wednesday at 37 Pillars. Uh, uh, tweet me at, at DeVellante if you don't have an invitation. I'll get you one, although I heard it was, uh, I heard there was a wait list. 
last week. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you in, don't worry. Um, and then, uh, we're also at Splunk next week. I'm going to be at DotConf in DC. Very interesting company, we've done DotConf since I think 2011. Yeah. It was the first year we did DotConf. Yeah. And, so, and, and I'll be keeping a uh, big eye on Microsoft Ignite next week, uh, while we don't have theCUBE there. Obviously, you know, pretty important uh, th things like Azure Stack, expected to roll out, and got so many shows, Dave. So, <laughs> theCUBE, we love uh, digital content, creating content, sharing with you, our community. Uh, follow at theCUBE, that handle for the Cube Gems, you'll see a bunch of videos. Go to thecube.net, that's where we host all the videos from all of our shows. And then siliconangle.com is where we write up our news and analysis of these events and news of the day. Uh, and of course, wikibon.com is our, our research site. Uh, a lot of really good deep work going on there. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, this is Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman. We're out from Veritas Vision 2017. We'll see you next time. <laughs>